engineer of the industrial IoT. Today, I'm going to show you the WISE 501, the most important smart power input module for your ESA test device IO car besides the WISE 5580. Before that, I want to emphasize one important point. The WISE 5 uh, WISE 5580 is for the dual power input, but this power input is only for WISE 5580 itself and the left hand side PCI extension module. But if you want to use the ESA test size IO car at the right hand side, you must have one WISE 5001. It is not only the smart power input module with four DI channels, it supports the power monitoring for the dual voltage input and the current floor between the EtherCast size I.O. set. If you want to know more information about the WISE 5580, the brand new PSE product from our event hack, you can refer to our previous video over here. In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the EtherCast size I.O. car and the basic peer-to-peer -peer function hypothesis. And let's check it out now. I will demonstrate how to install the WISE 5000 series on the DIN rail and then I will connect the power to the PAC and the EtherCast size I.O. card. On the table, we have one short DIN rail, one WISE 5580, the brand new PAC product, and three EtherCast size I.O. card. The first one is the smart power input module, WISE 5001. The second one is the digital input module, WISE 5051. The third one is the digital output module, WISE 5056. Okay, and let's do it right now. And as you can see, there are two mechanisms on the back of the WISE 5580. We have to make sure it is on the up position. And after that, we can install our DIN rail into it. Just pull down it. And as you can see, we successfully installed the DRIL into the PAC. Okay, and after that, we have to install the power input module WISE 5001 into it. We just slice into the WISE 5580, the right hand side. And then next, we have to install the WISE 5051. And the last is the WISE 5056. Okay, and then I will turn on the power of the PAC. And as you can see, the PAC's power is being turned on, but the EtherCast Lights IO card don't have the power because that, just like I said in the, the, the beginning of the video, they, are, they have the independent power source. So at this time, I will power on the WISE 5001 now. Okay. As you can see, the power is being turned on. Okay, so now we successfully installed the whole WISE 5000 series on the DRAM and then turn on the power, both the PAC and the EtherCast IOS car. Before going to the codices step-by-step hands-on part, I will give you a brief introduction of today's application scenario. Here at the left-hand side, we have a WISE 5051. We will use its DI0 to trigger the DO0 and DO1 on the WISE 5056 through the codices logic. Here, I click on the new project and choose the standard project. As you can see, there are several different devices and I choose the 64-bit OS and I prefer the function bug diagram coding environments. 
And then we have to check the connection between your IDE and the RTE on the WISE 5580. And you can see it's green light. It means that the connection is well. Here we will add the EtherCAD master. After adding the EtherCAD master, we have to map in its network card. And on this WISE 5580, I use the number 2 network card to connect with my EtherCast Slice.io. After compiling and download the program into the, my uh, PAC, I start the program and then I will scan for the end device. And as you can see on the screen, there are three I.O. cards. And I copy them all to my project. Here, I will define three parameters, DI0, DO0, and DO1 for my programming. Here, I drag a box, the move box, and I build up a simple logic between DI0 and the two DO channels. Next step, we have to map in these parameters with the true uh, registers on the I.O. cards. Also, we have to set the PLC setting. This is really important. And then also, compile, download the program, and start it. And next, we will ch check whether the result is correct. So now I will connect this wire into the digital input 0 of the WISE 5051, the digital input module, and it will trigger the digital output 0 and 1 on our WISE 5056, the digital output module. And let's take a look. So if you ask me now, do I successfully build up the connection between the digital input and the digital output by the codices and our advanced tech, PAC and EtherCAD slice IO solution? My answer is yes, I do. If you like our video, please give it a like and also subscribe our YouTube channel. We will have more and more unboxing video and tutorial technical video in the future. And thanks for your watching.